change is everywhere. Inventions, innovations, gadgets, the internet. Science and technology is redefining the way we live. Rappler brings you the frontline news in this brave new world. Hi, I'm Matthew Ang for our top stories. A loaded and more affordable Phantom 3 makes its debut. Google will start blurring spoiler posts. And is it true? A blogger says the Apple Watch feels like a first generation device. There's a new Phantom in town, and this one comes with all the bells and whistles at an affordable price. It now comes with Lightbridge, a downlink capable of live streaming 720p video via YouTube to Apple and Android devices. Manufacturer DJI says the GPS system uses more satellites, which may mean a quicker position lock for pre planned flight paths. The Phantom 3 is a compact UAV or unmanned aerial vehicle with an option for a professional grade camera that takes 4K video. But the best part is the visual positioning system that lets you fly safely indoors. We're here at Arten Island, one of the biggest 3D museums in Asia. It is located at the heart of Cubao in Quezon City. It is a museum with visually stunning 3D artwork you can interact with and be part of. Be part of Van Gogh's Starry Night, lodge yourself into the jaws of a monster, and marvel in the ruins of ancient civilization. Founded by Korean Yoon Jae Kyung and several other partners, this place took 14 3D artists to work on all the paintings in just 4 months. Art in Ireland is inspired by the artworks in UK, which is pavement art and well known as street art. The ginamit naming materials dito is mixed media like acrylic and oil paint, and then nilagyan na rin namin ng pampalish para mas uh, realistic siya. Uh, gumamit kami ng resin sa floor para ma preserve namin yung mga paintings. Para tumagal siya ng mga ilang months. After six months, magpapalit ulit kami para ma-preserve na rin and uh, ma-maintain namin yung cleanliness sa loob ng museum. Let's call on a member of Rappler's social media team. Hey there! Did you just come up with the wittiest tweet ever? It could get frustrating when someone edits your tweet before they actually retweet. That should become a thing of the past thanks to Twitter's new co-tweet function available on Twitter for web, mobile apps, and tweet deck. Giving credit to whom it is due is now as easy as 1. Choosing co-tweet from the retweet button. 2. Adding your own take. And 3. Clicking tweet. And do you know what the best part is? Instead of racking your brain for that one or two word comment, you'll have a little over 100 characters left to share what you think about that tweet. This is Stacy from the Raptor social media team. The Apple Watch may be quite stylish, but the New York Times says it works like a first-generation device with all the limitations and flaws. Blogger Farad Manju says the watch's software requires a learning curve which may deter some people. He adds, it took him three days but fell in love with it hard. Manju says the watch is not suited for tech novices, but designed for people who are inundated with notifications and wants to spend less time on their smartphones. And speaking of wearables, Samsung is reportedly working on a new watch. According to Sam Mobile, it has 3G and voice call capability. The new smartwatch will be available in two variants, one with 3G connectivity and voice calling, and the other with Bluetooth for connecting to a smartphone. Both will support Wi-Fi. Google was spared from a recent wave of internet bans in Turkey. It reportedly obeyed a court order to remove links to images of hostage takers pointing a gun at a victim's head. Twitter and YouTube were temporarily blocked after failing to respond to an order to remove content. Government officials criticized the images as terrorist propaganda and said it was insensitive to the victim's family. Hours after the ban, hashtag Twitter is blocked in Turkey became a trending topic. Accustomed to similar bans in recent years, people in Turkey circumvented the restrictions by using services to mask their internet protocol access points. Messaging app Snapchat replaces its best friends feature with friend emojis and adds a low-light camera. 
The friend emoji determines your closeness to any of your contacts. If you see a gold heart next to a contact's name, you're each other's number one best friend. This is the highest Snapchat honor you can receive. If you see a smirk, you're their best friend, but they're not yours. If you see fire, it means you two are on a snap streak, meaning you've snapped back and forth for several consecutive days. Only you will be able to see these emojis on your upcoming snaps. The days of public best friends are officially behind us. Kids, summer and video games, they seem to go together. This program takes that to a new level. Now kids can develop their own video games and program their own robots. So here at Chemical Engineering, your kids get to learn how to make their favorite um, toys like bubbles, bouncy balls, and even play those with just using a normal house food items. The Engineering for Kids or EFK program is the first initiative under a new educational approach called STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. But don't get overwhelmed, kids are not asked to solve quadratic equations. EFK is an enrichment after school program to supplement basic education. From robotics engineering to electronic game design, kids can enroll in a field of their choice. The Smile Group, who brought STEM to the Philippines, says this approach encourages creativity and innovation while understanding science and mathematics through a hands on approach. It's real world problem based approach. So have fun first, but actually, while they're having fun, while they're building their own toys, they're actually learning. The EFK Adventure Camp starts April and will go on till the month of June. Astronomers are certain we are not alone in this universe. A top NASA scientist says it's not an if, it's a when. Of course, the space agency isn't talking about highly sophisticated sentient beings in other planets. Popular science reports, NASA Chief Scientist Ellen Stofan says, Given the surprising number of oceans and other planets, the discoveries will likely be simple microbes, the essential building blocks of more complicated creatures yet to come. Jupiter's moon Europa has long been considered a primary candidate for possible life forms. Saturn's moon Enceladus is home to sandy hot springs. And just a few weeks ago, Jupiter's largest moon Ganymede was found to have a saltwater ocean. Intel recently showed off its model for wearable solutions. Its CEO Brian Kranich put on a bracelet that, get this, controls robot spiders. When Kranich wore a bracelet powered by Intel's Curie, the robots obeyed his commands. Now here's my favorite, but I gotta make sure I do this right. Curie is a prototype system that will be embedded in wearables. It can be embedded into jewelry like rings, pendants, and fitness trackers. And that's side tech for you. A fun rundown of the nerdiest, smartest science and technology events and breakthroughs on the planet. This is Matthew Ang. See you next week.